Action, baby, we're here. This is the start of a new podcast, a new era, baby. It's your boy, Denz. And it's your boy, Dustin. And welcome to the Real Brothers Podcast. Guys, this is the Real Brothers Podcast. And this is the podcast where you have two brothers. Two brothers. Where we keep it real. Keep it real. We're giving you our raw and unscripted opinions. Raw doggy. On life. Honestly, like all things. Adulting, travel, friendships, relationships. Who knows? Like, we're here to talk about a whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> Minus the gang shit. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Right? That's not my life. It's not. But listen, guys, we really wanted to, like, start a new chapter. Yes, you guys may know us from, like, dating shows or, like, Try Not To Live videos on TikTok, YouTube, whatever it may be. But we really wanted to start something where we could have conversations and really get to know you guys more and, you know, share opinions because... We love to have talks with our friends, whether it's like in the living room or whatever, the living room or what? like the living room, the living room or like, the you know, room. you know how you have like talks at the cafeteria lunch table with your friends. It's like we want to bring that to the Internet. You know, we have so much fun and good conversations. It's like, why not have these conversations with you guys and get to know us a little bit better? Yeah. So I would give some insight on me first. I would just say before we get started, this episode will be like a QA, and a like an intro, a get to know us. So grab a snack and hurry back. Yes, 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 yes. So I'll start, you know, obviously we're brothers, but I'm 27 years old. No, we're not twins. A lot of people ask us that. Yes, that's the number one question. Are we twins? <laughs> are we twins? No. No, we are not. No, no. Even though we were raised as twins, like they used to dress us alike. Alike. We have to go everywhere. You know. We still go everywhere together. Yeah, and it's annoying because they. It's like people want to like. It's like having security detail without them actually being security. It's like I try to escape I'm them. Always a security. Yeah, but I try to escape him. But he's he's always there. He like he always finds me. So it's like I really can't. I can't hide. But um, no, it's really fun. I'm 27 years old. How old are you? I'm 29. Damn, you old as hell, man. You oh, you almost 30. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? Well, you look old and you got bad knees. <gasps> First of all, I've and been in the... gonna need Botox. <gasps> you know what? I don't even know what else to say. I'm so offended. I'm so offended. It's all right. But as you... I'm the... I'm the as I, you guys can see, what? I'm the smarter one, more handsome one. Nah. I, you know... Um, oh, no. Put the glasses pretty, back on. pretty much it, You deducted you know? like 10 points. Deducted. Oh, no. Yeah, deducted. Right, just because you wear a foundation. You a munch. You a munch. You don't even know You thought I was feeling is. you? You a munch. Eat it for lunch. Yeah. You a smoochie? That's you. You a smoochie. What's two plus two? Four? This guy's a smoochie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Uh, today's episode is going to be really fun. So before we get started, let's roll the intro. And we're back. All right. Yes. Welcome back, guys. This is really fun. Um, that was a cool intro, by the way. I love that groovy song. Um, before we get started, we do want to introduce yes. our co-host to the Real Brothers podcast, a.k.a. Dustin's girlfriend, Janae. Hi, everyone. How are you? Welcome, Janae. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we get started and yeah. um, we just want to introduce you to the people, like how long have you and Dustin been? Matter of fact, what's your name? Like, where are you from? What, how old are you? All right, so my name is. <laughs> my How name do you is introduce her. <laughs> Hold on, because you're ready to jump in. How do you say we have Janae? So, what is your name? Like, give yourself an intro, bring yourself up. Like, who are you? All right, my name is Janae Ashley, and I am. You said, How old am I? You don't have to say your age. Oh, because like, I'm you like, from? this you is not aim. Age. Like, whew. What's, okay. No one out there is watching those right. where aim is. Okay, where are you from, and what's your zodiac sign? Okay, I'm from New York, and I am a Capricorn. Capricorns are the best, obviously. Yes, they are, Geo. No, <laughs> no. Capricorns are definitely uh, very stubborn and stuck in their ways. They're not stubborn. We are... So you're stubborn. No, we're just very passionate about what we want, what we don't like, you know. 
And you guys, all of those you things. guys can't take a, accountability. Oh no, we wrong. definitely take accountability. Definitely it's the Libras that do not take accountability. They're like, oh, I don't know if I want this or if I want that, that. that and then I don't. Sound I'm like not accountability. Done. I'm not it done. sounds I'm like we're indecisive, done. which we are. Yeah, you're indecisive, but you also do not take accountability because I, like something could be wrong that you did, and you just wow. would not take accountability just for it. Here, once can, again, here we go with the Capricorns. They create more stop? lies to can hide no, there. No, we don't have a podcast for this. Okay. Okay. If you want an episode where you two can go back and forth about nothingness, then we'll do it. Anyway, Whew, how long right. have you guys been dating? Sheesh, it's like a decade, Whew. literally. Yeah, I could see the wrinkles <laughs> Plus already. A year. What? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Put them in a casket. Whoa, not me. <laughs> so, Janae, welcome. How does it feel to be on the podcast? First episode, first time here. It feels great. I'm like super excited to like you know be part of like the whole podcast. Like just like you know getting like your point of view on things, talking about like life and what's out there, trending topics, different questions, all of those great things. Yeah, okay. So what do you have for us today? Yeah, what do you have for us? Well, I have some questions that I would like to ask you just to get your point of view. You know what I'm saying? Mm, we love a good POV sesh. Yeah, so let's see. What should we start with? You know, this is a really great one because you just experienced this. So I don't know what you would actually, you know, choose. But um, would you rather walk barefoot in a public restroom or be poisoned? When you say poison, what do you mean by that? I mean, it could really be anything. Like, it could be, like, like a poison. Snake? Like po- it, Yeah, it could pretty much be anything, honestly. Okay, I'm going to say this one thing, just because I recently had food poisoning this weekend. Food poisoning is literally, like, probably worse than a hangover. Would not recommend it, because it, it, it goes <laughs> further than one day, or just a few hours, you know? But I would definitely say... Ill a freaking bathroom? Like, like a public a restroom? public restroom. Oh, no. Public. Okay. Okay. Where there's like multiple people, all different types of people. Um, And you know what? Let's make this even more interesting. A public restroom in New York City. Like a New York City subway restroom? Yes. (laughs) Do they even have those? I don't even know, but I I could just imagine how filthy it would be. Right. Even though it's filthy, I think I would pick um, walking barefoot. Because at least you can go home and take a shower. Like, and it'll be washed away. Okay. Poison, you can't wash that away. Right, because you don't know how long you're going to be poisoned exactly. for. You True. can die from that. From poison? Ooh, yeah. You're right. Oh, I was about to pick poison. And I was like, I do not want to walk in But what if you had like a paper cut on the bottom of your foot and you was walking barefoot on the floor? Now, what if you get poison in your foot? Not even that. Like, what if you get like chlamydia? So, so what are you trying Ooh, to what are you trying? Yeah, you a could. STI. Wrap it, it up. You have to stay safe. Listen, syphilis is on the rise, guys. You how have to get. You do nev- you know like how germs syphilis travel. it? Do you germs, know how it's uh, cured? You can't get chlamydia without having sex. You know that, right? Listen, you just do you don't you know, know that. You never know do nowadays. You know that? Did you know it's a sexually transmitted disease? Listen, it's you know what? Actually, there could be a debunk on that one because what if the disease was on the ground? Like, does you it can like only get it sexually? Are you having sex with the ground? I just want to. Yeah, s- but like the micronisms, like or whatever. Micronisms. I mean, you know, <laughs> the, mi- <laughs> the micro whatever. I right? just want to say, guys, this girl has public education. She comes from uh, not public, private, private education. education. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's private, private. school education. They paid right, for her to go to school. That's why. Look, since birth. Look. Tomato, tomato. Carry on. But what if, like, the disease is literally on the ground? Like, is it, like, you know, how do we know that it only happens there? Like, what if it's literally on the ground? I mean, germs can travel, yes. But, you know, it's 2022. Like, ger- like germs like, are Like, what everywhere. if someone, like, had intercourse on the floor and smeared whatever on the floor. Now, is the chlamydia on the floor? It could be if there's a lot of right. juice. You could just walk exactly. into all that juice. Exactly. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like... We love chlamydia juice. Ooh, no, we don't. Oh, Again, wrap it up. <laughs> oh. Stay safe out there. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay safe. What? Use condoms. Can we go to the next question, yeah. please? Oh, before we move on, I just want to say, just be mindful of 
all of us speaking over each other. So to keep this, like, you know, with bodily fluids, um, would you rather donate your body to science or would you rather donate your organs to someone who needs them? I will donate my oh. organs to yeah, someone. I would definitely donate my organs to someone who needs them. Because science? Not saying that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my organs just in case. Selfish. So you're saying that you are not a sign die. uh, Oh, I'm not a sign die at all. <laughs> I don't know if that's the sister of Han die, but uh, no. Oh, I had one before. I know. Yeah. Well, I had a Hyundai too, actually. Um, several. Yeah. I rented them. Uh, you I crashed used to, them? I don't think I ever crashed a Hyundai. Thank you very much. No. Yeah, but okay. I've crashed cars before, yes. Thank you for bringing oh, up wanna, my trauma. You think yeah. that's funny? You want to tell a car- story? What? I've, I've, tell us a story about one of your crashes. Okay, I've definitely... Especially r- the one where you crashed my car. Okay. Yeah. I, it was very traumatic one. for all of us, honestly. Yeah. I don't know why you're including yourself in this. <laughs> that's very selfish of you. Tell Once me. again, Capricorns on... No. Like, you guys are narcissistic. This has nothing to do with no, you. No, I was definitely part of the situation. No, you were not. You can tell your story and I'll tell you why it was infect- it so, affected me. I crashed. Oh, she, now she's affected. She's been no, walking she, around she, barefoot. She, 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 oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, but um, no, I was in high school. I was a high school senior, and I was just out with some friends, riding around town, throwing eggs at people, you know, throwing eggs out the car, and it's so fun. And, you know, it's all fun and games until when you throw an egg at a, we threw this egg at a particular car, and um, this car literally made a U-turn and drove right behind us, like high-speed chase. And as we're driving, we're coming to an intersection where it's either you make a left or right. And when I tell you, I'm like, oh, I'm about to make a right. But the car was not slowing down as we're approaching the stop sign. And um, at this point, it's like life or death. It's like you make you make this right turn, you might hit a tree or if you make this left turn, you might hit a car. I didn't have that much time to think. So we just went straight into someone's house and um when I opened my eyes, you know, it was like a lot of smoke. Airbags were out. Um, I crashed into the person's car in front of me. I mean, in the driveway. And their car was in their garage. She came outside like, oh, my God, what happened? What oh. happened? And I was like, why you made her sound like the boogeyman? Listen, I didn't know what was happening. Everything was strange, okay? Everything. So from there... I definitely was trying to figure out life like, oh, my gosh, like what happened? And as she's asked me what happened, the guys that were chasing us, they're like up the street. Ah, 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 that's what you get. So in that moment, I saw an opportunity and I said, those guys cut me off. Those guys cut me (laughs) off and they're laughing at me. I was like, what's happening? She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, we got to call the police. Oh, with that accent? All of it. Wow. So, you know, the police coming in like, what <laughs> happened? She's like, she's now advocating for me. These guys, they cut him off. And now <laughs> they laugh at him and they escape. I can't believe it. The police were trying to figure out because it's not making any sense. Like how they cut me off if they were coming from the opposite direction. Whatever it was, you know. And um, whatever, they had, the, the lady was on my side, but I definitely had, like, dry egg yolk in my head, in my hair. So the, the cop was like, what's that on your head? And I was like, I don't even know, bro. Like, I was just trying to act so out of it. And he was just looking at me like, yo, what is happening? So uh, all in all, yeah, I got away with running into someone's house because they thought someone cut me off. But no, I was in the wrong because we were throwing eggs and we were in a high-speed chase and the brakes weren't working. So honestly, I really blame you because it was your car. Why, were you, why did you not have brakes? On your car, sir. The funny part about this whole story, he used to throw eggs at a lot of people, right? We both did, by the way. He used to throw eggs at a lot of people, okay? I said, specifically, do not throw eggs at anyone driving my car. No, I'm not. You have my word. I won't do it. This is true. He literally left the house, bought a dozen eggs, and threw them at people. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and on top of that, how did you get egg yolk in your hair? Were you you were missing the window? No, honestly, I think because mind you, I had a convertible. You could have put the top down and threw the eggs. True, but good thing I didn't put the top down because we probably all would have flown out the car. It was like me and three other friends. We probably would have th- flown out of the car if I would have done that. But all in all, listen, l- lesson learned: I never threw eggs at anyone again. I just think it was karma coming back to me real quick. Yeah, you just throw other things out the window now. Which is what. 
everything else. You're such. What do I? I don't even litter. So let's hear this. You like throw just a bunch of different things out the window. You spit things out the window. You did it today, so actually. Because I'm spitting, that means I'm throwing things out the window. Once you again, you do both. You let, definitely Capricorns do both. Capricorns literally make things up to have a point. But as you see, Libras lie because he lied to the cops about his story, and so. But yeah. Janae, I want to know. Okay, what this whole story, what does this have to do with you? Because it was so traumatizing for you. Well, because you got into the car accident. Thank you for asking. Me and Dustin, we were having a grand old time, just chilling, having a nice evening, right? And it was time for me to go home, whatever. And, you know, casually, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home now. And then all of a sudden, we get this like abrupt call from Dan, like, oh my God, I just hit a house. And then we're like, what? Like, you hit a house? And so we're like, okay, so now we're scrambling. Like, okay, I got to get my stuff, whatever, whatever. But in the meantime of all of this, my poor charger, my poor phone charger was sitting over there in the outlet all by itself. And I left it. And so I had to literally wait for hours to get my charger because I only had one charger and that was the only one. So your trauma is that you left yes. your charger, your phone charger <laughs> in my house and there was no one home to open a door to get you your charger. So you had yeah. to wait outside. Yeah, I had I, to literally. I literally could have been suffering from like body body injuries. You didn't even care. You were just so worried body, about it. Body, <laughs> body, 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 Yeah, don't laugh because you ain't got no, the mega No, I was happy that you were okay, but then it was just like, okay, check he's on me. okay. You didn't even check on me. We weren't really cool like that. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah. You're so selfish, clearly, because you're worried about your charger. Look, charger. I needed that charger. I had to like go to work the next day. Like, I, it was just like a lot. Like, I needed my beauty. Beauty rest, okay. you know. First world problems. I hear you. Look, I needed my sleep. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. And I you wanted you. to crash into houses. Okay. No. What's yeah. the next question? Because seriously? <laughs> what? You see how she made that whole story about her? I just I just I just want y'all to know. That's Janae. <laughs> she finds some way somehow. Hey, hey guys, look at me. Look at me. Well, since we're on the topic of me, what's your favorite thing about me or like your favorite story this, about this me? This is her last question, what? by the way. This is her last question, <laughs> by the way, on this podcast. By the way. <laughs> How are you going to take this time to talk about you? Well, well, this is my segment right now, so <laughs> might as well take advantage. I, I, hey, I respect it. I respect the hustle. <laughs> My favorite thing about you is your personality. Like, you shouldn't change for anybody ever in life. Like, be you. Truly be yourself. You can oh. never go wrong. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It made me crack like, up. No. The can, never go wrong part. You can be she wrong. be wrong 90% no, 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 of the time. No, no, I'm saying she can be wrong. I'm not saying she's right all the time. I'm saying you can never go wrong being yourself. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Thanks. And I, let me just clarify, I'm not always wrong. I just have, like, a different answer or a different way to go about things. She's always wrong. No. Go ahead. No, he can go oh, ahead. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any nice thing to say. He's a liar. Psych, psych, psych. I just think that you're really hilarious without even trying. Like, you know, it's oh, like, thanks. for me, I love to see other people who are, like, dyslexic with ADHD as well and, yeah. like, just thriving in this world. Yeah. You know, and we, like, we, like, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. We go out, hang out. <laughs> we like the finer things in life luxurious things oh yes we love the finer things we love concierge service uh, whoa. okay oh, yes. whoa. what slipped mm. into your mouth Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh man no casper where are you <laughs> not you out here playing with ghosts Ooh no oh well it's almost halloween so might true as well true Let's tap into that true what do you guys want to be for halloween i was thinking about uh doing blade from um like the Wesley Snipes movie, Blade. You was thinking about doing Blade from Wesley Snipes? I was thinking about being Blade. From <laughs> Wesley Snipes? No, no. Wesley Snipes played ba Blade in the movie. Blade, Blade. Blade, Blade. Remember Blade, 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 Blade's going on? There's <laughs> Don't switch the subject. <laughs> Don't switch the subject. Just try again, man. We'll take your time. Anyway, I want to be Blade. Take your time. Subject to change, depending on how difficult it is to uh, get the, the costume together. But other than that, yeah, Blade. What about you guys? Mm. I have no idea, honestly. It's like up in the air. Like we seen like some costumes yesterday, but like nothing was really giving. Like they're just like the same like old things. Yeah, like, like you know, Scooby Doo, a vampire, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, 
a porter she, potty. She was yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, it was I have pictures. Party pooper. Yeah, she was looking at inflatable dinosaurs. Wow. No, that was like him more so. Not oh, okay. Me. So yeah. you know you could like chase people. Nice. I'm dino. Oh yeah, I get that. Okay, it's like you guys are in one costume. Oh, no. What? No. That is... No. Oh, I was thinking about mm-hmm. the, like, those costumes that's, like, oh, a yeah. person and it's, like, a monster Oh, yeah, no, them, I don't want but that. It's, like, like half man, half horse? Yeah. No, Ooh, not Ooh, like cat dog. Not necessarily like that, but I, I like what? where your mind is going. They're two different things, cat that's dog. That's a throwback. We love cat dog, the TV show. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, let's let's get started into this, uh, this Q&A. Oh, actually, before we get started into this Q&A, I just want to, like, up, take an appreciation for my... Uh, my outfit today, I love it. Uh, so I'm rocking the Supreme hoodie. Um, for the not sponsored, by the way, not sponsored for the people that's at home. And it's finally clean, by the way. <laughs> I stay clean. Don't be jelly. The first day, <laughs> not even the first day, the first ten minutes of him buying this hoodie, right. he spilled tomato sauce on it. I definitely did. Um, but listen, we're here. We're we're clean again. <laughs> no, but listen. Um, uh, I have the Supreme hoodie on with like it has like studs on it, like stars, and it's like. Really dope. I like it with some, like, camouflage, like, carpenter jeans. Really, really nice. And I have these Bapes on. Now, these Bapes are really dope because they remind me of, like, Dunks or, like, Air Jordan 1s. And um, I love Bapes growing up. I couldn't afford them growing up, and they were always sold out. So here I am, living my childhood dreams. And I just love it. So I just wanted to take an appreciation because I did this with no effort this morning. I just woke up, looked in my closet, and was like, Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, those are cool. What if I fuse these together? And bada bing, bada boom, it worked out. So, yeah. yeah. I, just I love, love the colorway, Congratulations. right? Congratulations. That's, that's the term, right? Colorway? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. See, I'm down. Yeah. It complements each other. So, for the first... <laughs> <laughs> She's down. She's down. Okay, so, for this Q&A, one of the questions that we have that you guys asked us and shout out to people who turned in tune shout out to the people who tuned into the live earlier asked us questions you guys were really dope thank you guys for uh coming out it was fun interacting with you guys so one thing that we get a lot on this channel and everyone is always asking us are you two friends or everyone's always asking us friends are you guys brothers are you guys in a relationship we are brothers we're happy we're singing and we're colored give me a high five brother you was definitely about to do the McDonald's little jingle. That's why you stopped. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ba da ba ba ba. I'm I actually loving it. Because I don't want us getting sued. <laughs> Ooh, smart. You are so smart. Yeah, smarter than you because you said the whole thing. No, I didn't. You did that. <laughs> 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 yes, but we are brothers and uh, we're two years apart. And yeah. So someone is asking us again. Let's see what the next question is. Um, what made you start your channel? I guess you could, well, yeah, you could answer that. I mean, you started it. I did start the channel. I mean, no, I guess why did we start? I started is really because we were bored, wanted to have fun. But a lot of people actually don't know. The first thing we did on this channel was a reality show. Yeah, it was a web series called Love in Long Island, which is a spinoff of Love Love and and Hip Hop. Hop. And... We have seen people in Brooklyn do love in Brooklyn. Yep. People in Queens do love in Queens. And yep. it was like, Long Island, where we at? And so we made love in Long Island. Yeah, I went to Best Buy, grabbed two like digital cameras, did not know how to film or edit, but fake it till you make it, baby. And when I tell you, if you guys go back and watch those videos, it's probably like about like seven episodes. But the um, it gets better throughout each episode, like the editing, everything. But it definitely starts off like the shittiest quality <laughs> there is. Yeah. Like it's just like we didn't know anything about lighting. Everyone was dark. Yeah, yeah. everyone looked at busted and, and dusted. Busted and dusted. I had to make it sound like everyone looked at dusted busted. and busted. <laughs> nah, but um, it's definitely it was definitely a time of like just amateur shit but we were just trying to figure it out you know i mean yeah i mean the biggest thing is we had the vision you know yeah and people tuned in yeah yeah i think they we saw actually the had fans well. yeah we really did people still recognize janae to this day yeah they do actually which is really interesting yeah that's actually really dope so yeah um yeah, I, yeah we started this channel because we were uh we were very creative and we needed an outlet to create and YouTube was that 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 pathway. So yeah, shout out to YouTube. Thanks for rocking with us for this long. Appreciate that. Um, okay, someone asked, um, will the podcast be available on Spotify? 
Yes, it will be on all streaming platforms, actually. Not just Spotify, but Apple Music and I don't know what other things people listen to. Amazon. Oh, yeah, to, Amazon. You listen to stuff on Amazon? I mean, I have it, no. but they do have that. But they have like I know Audible, Audible. Yeah. yeah, Audible, Audible maybe. Yeah, yeah, like so Audible, Audible has like podcasts. Got you. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be on all streaming platforms. Yeah, I agree, and TikTok and YouTube as well. Um, clips will be on like TikTok, but yeah. a great question that they also asked too is, what age should you get married? And you guys are in a relationship, so um, you guys are both thirty on the verge of thirty. What age do you, you think is? Mean to yell out our age. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Well, I was told I look 19, so how old do you look? <laughs> <laughs> about 50. <laughs> nah, maybe about 40. Ooh. <laughs> you look older than me. <laughs> Every time we say, are you guys twins? No. Guess who's older? They always say you. Yeah, I think because it's just like I give that grown man energy, you know. They're like, oh, yeah. That's Not the, really. That's the big mm, boss. No. Not really. Yeah. No one has ever looked at you and said, ooh, <laughs> big boss. <laughs> And what have they looked at you and said? They look big at, boss. Nah, <laughs> they be you, like you more like the like an assistant. Oh, not the assistant. Like the runner. Ooh, like, not the ooh the like, runner. Like, go and get me some cheesecake. cheesecake. I'm gonna let him talk all his talk because even though I just want to say one thing, there is some truth to that in terms of like. Oh, I wouldn't go get cheesecake. I would go get Starbucks. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, because definitely. I just want you to know, I do pick up your food. I order your food. I book your flights. I book your travel. I book a lot for you. So next time, just realize the person you're talking shit to, I could put you in a shithole. I could put you in a pizza. Shit's not you. I could like you get... You can put me in a pizza? No, Why I could... Why you put I, me in a pizza? I could literally like make you eat like the crappiest foods. I could like put you in the crappiest hotels. I just want you to know. You talk about talk you about your assistant. It, you've done it before. Talk, oh. Hey, Dan, book us a hotel. <laughs> Terrible hotel. I thought it'd be cool if we stayed in a one star. Listen, it's all about experiences. It's experience. It's all about experiences. It's not the type of experience. Hey, we, we did it once and we didn't do it again. Okay, so I don't keep repeatedly pointing you to this. Let's, how Unless about you try Dan it? is given a budget, then you yeah. Know. Thank you. It, oh, yeah. Thank you, Janae. Thank you for reminding me that you've only been in those places because I've been put on a budget. So. There you go. Thank yeah. you, Janae. You're welcome. Um, so anyway, back to the question. What is a good age to get married, you think? I don't think you should put an age limit on getting married. Like, I think, you know, if someone, like, I think when the time is right, the time is right, honestly. If you can't just be like, oh, yeah, I want to get married at 25. Okay, what happens when you turn 26 and you're not married? Life doesn't end. Right. There's still hope. So I don't think people should be fixated on what age they should get married. I think there's a lot of prerequisites that come with it, like... Uh, did you find somebody? Is this person your soulmate? Are you in love with this person? How long have... I mean, some people think, how long have you been dating? But for those that it matters to, how long have you been dating? Have you met the other um, person's family? And is this the type of decision you actually want to make on both ends? Because some people, they don't know yet. They're unsure. And some people aren't ready. Some people are. Exactly. But age doesn't really... To me, is not really like a requirement. And then I, I would piggyback off and say also, like, you know, our mindset and, like, our mental, like, that make that plays a really big part in, like, our relationship, you know. You know, if I'm, in one, I'm, if I'm on one page and, like, he's on another page, you can't expect to be married at, like, 30 if we're, like, on two different pages, especially if you, like, want the relationship to last and have longevity, you know, you have to really go with, like, how the journey is going and just, like, go with the flow. Like, it's not something that you should rush or that you should put, like, an actual, like, time stamp on if you really want something that's going to be fulfilling. Like and things forever. that are, Right. Like, things that are, like, fulfilling and forever, like, those take, like, a lot of work. And a lot of that is, like, self-work. And if you don't do that self-work... You shouldn't even think about, like, an age or marriage at all. Like, you should really, like, focus on you first and, like, you know, making sure that you're good for yourself and then your partner. Yeah. Well, True. That was really wise. All in all, I think you guys are right. There's no, um, you know, marriage has no timeline. It has no, um, no date exactly. You know what I mean? So I like that. That's some good insight. Really wise. Thank you, guys. Wow. Okay. Let me find out you guys are a little... Power couple, okay. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'm jumping, jumping the broom saying all that, but 
Yeah. But you guys are definitely wise. (laughs) And this guy. (laughs) With the puns. Listen, man. (laughs) They don't call me Denny Pun for nothing. Okay, no no one one calls calls him that that at all. Listen, listen. I'm making up names for yourself. Right. And then Denny Pun. Like, that's not even. You just made for yourself. (laughs) Right. Listen, I do what I want, okay? Like Lil Uzi say, now I'll do what I want. Now I'll do what I want. Straight like that. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. Yes. Hmm. Well, I do know one of those questions. It was, what is the most ridiculous thing that you've seen the other brother do? The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen this guy do. Yeah. That's a good question. That really There's a, a lot question. of ridiculous things Dan has done. I got like a top 20. <laughs> A top 20. <laughs> well, after the story you told earlier, that's definitely in the top 20. <laughs> with you throwing <laughs> eggs out of the car and then not knowing how to drive. I, first of all. Hey, I can make a left or a right. I don't know which one I'm going to do, so I'm going to make a straight. <laughs> make, <laughs> make, make a straight. straight. Like, make, make a straight. That's ridiculous. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Okay, listen. All right, we all have our ups and downs in life, but that's, that's what life is about. You know, making memories and having great stories to tell. So without those things, you wouldn't have great, great jokes to tell. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have great stories. You would be nothing without me. If I wasn't your writer, you would have nothing. Runner. I didn't say writer. Listen. I said runner. <laughs> All right. Keep playing. You <laughs> no, know, you know how I am behind the wheel. I will run, I will run it over. No, yeah, this guy oh? really has... Ro- I'm not even going to do that to you. No, do it. No, I'm not going to do that to you. No, what you going to do? I don't, I don't think the people should know that you have road rage. No, that was only one time. It was not. Actually, talk about road rage. You know, last week, I just want to say a few days ago, while I was suffering from the stomach virus, this man in traffic literally beeped his horn so bad because um, I had to come to a complete stop because a person in front of me came to a stop. He was merging into another lane. So I had to stop. So he's beeping a horn and he's so upset. He comes around and pulls his window down. It was like, as he's driving past, you effing F word. And he keeps on driving past. And we were all so shocked. So shocked. So shocked. So shocked. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah, no. That's messed up. I could have I could do whatever I want. Answer the question. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what is the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen your brother do? The most ridiculous thing? Oh, um, put put uh, a couple Next of, question. Put a couple, <laughs> yeah, finish. Put a couple noodles in the microwave. With no water, just dry as it is. He put it in there for about what three minutes, maybe. Everything, everything was on fire. It, it, it burst into flames. Literally, have to call like the fire department. Like, what's happening? He's lying. The fire no, department the bar- did not have to. Yeah, no, it, was, it did not. It was really, it was really no, embarrassing. Really, really embarrassing. It was really very smoky. Okay, because how did you think? There. I just want you to know. I was there in spirit. I, the, I just want to ask. First of all, no, 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 no. Don't even ask me anything because you want to talk about burning things down. You're the reason why we had to get a new microwave. You put a beef patty in the microwave for 30 minutes. Okay. Was it a frozen one? Yes. (gasps) It was frozen, but I do want to say on the box it says microwavable oven, right? But (laughs) when you hear microwavable oven, microwave, microwavable oven. He just stopped that microwave. Right. What about the bull oven? (laughs) <laughs> Listen, you missed that whole part. I was really young, and I just couldn't we tell couldn't the difference. couldn't eat in our house for more than a week. Wow. Couldn't warm anything up. Why? But at least that... Because he can't read. He still can't read. At oh, least yeah, that, I know that. At least that was more acceptable and understandable than putting no, what's noodles not? in there thinking it's going to turn into soup <laughs> without water. <clears throat> I just want you to know that. I just want you to know. So how was your beef patty? It was hella burnt. It was spicy, <laughs> on fire. It was, huh? it was flaming, flaming hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like the Cheetos. <laughs> For real. Exactly. It was flaming hot. But listen, you know, to each his own. Um, you mean to each his own? You know, talking about cooking, I just want to say um, I've definitely gotten better in the kitchen. Recently, I went to Ooh. boot camp. I went Ooh. to boot camp, okay? I can't wait. I, yeah, I, I, really I, can't I went wait to boot this. camp, you know, to make me a better cook. And I just want to say that I've made lobster... Sushi. You, you attempted. You didn't. Duck. Do I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, the duck that fell on the floor. 
Uh, I don't know what's happening here because you never, you don't even know how to cook, Janae. Uh, and, and D, you don't even touch anything in the kitchen ever since you burnt those cup of noodles. So, therefore, neither you I'm have anything to say. I'm a little passive Yeah, I, yeah. I think, like, he's I mean, very, you need to calm like, down. you don't have to be so defensive. No, it's okay that you no don't know one, how to cook. It's okay. Yeah, like, did we say it's a trigger okay. word? Like, relax, bro. Like, I, take a deep breath. I don't even care because I'm more experienced. Look, woosah. I'm more experienced And now he's more you. experienced. Woosah. Literally, I have a... A lot of culinary experience. No, you don't. He don't even know what perpendicular Janae, means. you literally watch Ari cooking videos to learn how to cook. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Oh. No. It's not? I don't. I so I walked she, in the living room and saw you watching it. No, I think watches, he's lying. Uh, she has watched like all 52 seasons of Chopped. Yes, it's actually so good. It's like one of my favorite Food Network shows. That's crazy. You watch a lot of Food Network shows? Yeah. Like, what are your favorite shows on Food Network? Um, I love Chopped. I love Guys Grocery Games. That's really, really exciting. Um, I would say those are, like, my two faves. And I really, like, start... Like, I've always watched the Food Network, but, like, Pandemic really, like, it rammed everything up. Like, I literally watched all the, all the seasons of Chopped. I didn't make the things on Chopped, but I watched it. Wow. Yeah. All, no all, one even said anything. Because yeah. you're just, like, staring. Like, you're, you're waiting for me to, like, say, like, what did I make? I'm just letting you know now. Like, no, I didn't make any of those dishes, but I watched them. Whatever. Since we throwing everybody under the bus, let me tell you about the time Janae made mac and cheese. Oof. Okay, yeah, no, we are Tragedy. not going Tragedy. there because, Tragedy. no. Let me explain the story. Explain, explain. it correctly. Right. I am. No worries. It was like eating sand. No. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, you <laughs> need... <laughs> it wasn't even that. You know, like I tasted it. You know when you taste something and it's bad and then you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it was bad. She's like, you want me to leave it here? I said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to eat something tomorrow. <laughs> so she took it home. She didn't want to eat it. So she left it out for like stray cats. There used to be a lot of stray, uh, stray cats by her house. They all can She literally watched all of them come up to the, the pan. Okay, now you're definitely lying. They like, at Jen it, is rubbing lick, off on you. Like, the line like, is Ooh. ridiculous. And they all, like, walked away, like, mm. So no. I was like, dang, not even the stray cats wanted the mac and cheese. Wow. No. You was fiending for macaroni and cheese one day, and we had leftover cheese from, like, the first time that I had made macaroni and cheese. And you wanted me to make it so bad, so I'm like, but the cheese is old. Like, it's not going to taste good. And you're like, no, it's going to be okay. I really want macaroni and cheese. So I was like, all right, well, pfft. You want it so bad. We'll use this old cheese because you didn't want to go to the store anyway to get more cheese. And so I made it, and that's what happened. Like, it's not me. It was the old cheese that you wanted to eat so bad. Then let me tell you. What? You know how, I don't know, I don't know if you ever watched Chopped, but sometimes in Chopped, they'll give you the ingredients. Some of it will be, like, old, uh, like, onions or something that's, like, rotten. So she thought this was an episode of Chopped. I'm going to just deal with whatever ingredients I have. And then she made that. I'm like, Ew, never Well, again. that's what you wanted. She, she can survive on chop, though. She, she'll use what she got, but... Now, now I see why you guys are not married. Okay, that's definitely well, very telling. She I mean, can't cook. He, he can't... He don't even go in the kitchen to cook. <laughs> so, I mean, hey. I don't know why this is all of a sudden sounding like some, like, couples therapy, but... Um, <laughs> it feels like it we're on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I mean, the chef is waiting for us to, you know, solidify the the deal so we can have, like, chef-cooked meals every night. Right. That's the lifestyle we want. Listen, I just want to... I just What? That's what you said. <laughs> you said we're doing that, and I said, fine with me. <laughs> it's all right. I'll be able to cook for you guys, like oh, I said. Oh, no. I am not cooking. I'm not eating anything Den eats. Listen, I mean, makes. just know <laughs> that after this boot camp, I'm definitely way better in the kitchen, and... No. And honestly, this boot camp was filmed for the Food Network, so we'll definitely see that soon. You so, know what's so funny okay. about, like, you saying, like, you're so, like, you know, a chef and, like, you know how to, like, make things? I was trained by a professional, renowned, yeah, but world-renowned chef. Yeah, but you chefs, definitely have not made us anything. I think that's a good thing. I know. I don't know. Absolutely. I, I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, the next question, guys, mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. what... Well... I would say the next question is, what games, what video games do we play? So, um, my favorite video game is Grand Theft Auto. I don't play it as often as I should. It's like once every blue moon. But that's definitely one of my favorite games because I get to drive around and shoot people. Oh. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's like, it's like so fun. Think of, 
Grand Theft Auto is mad fun. You get to go with strippers. Like, you pick up strippers. <laughs> you bring them in a the back room. You pay oh, them some cash. Yeah. You own nightclubs. You have all these fancy cars. You have homes in the hills. But I would say um, my favorite Grand Theft Auto was uh, Vice City. I do wish they could, like, revamp it, make it very modern, and just, like, really lit. Because, you know. And I'll, add the midget strippers for you, right? Oh uh, Yeah. Midget yeah. strippers are definitely, like, yeah. a thing. Um, Den loves midget strippers. Yeah, sure. they're listen. They're a hot commodity, but low supply. Listen, D, what are your um, what are your favorite games? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, nah. <laughs> uh, I like Grand Theft Auto. Um, I literally have been playing GTA Five since like 2013. Matter of fact, Rockstar, you guys need to release GTA Six because I'm tired of playing the same game for 10 years straight. ASAP. Like, that's crazy. Um, other than that, Call of Duty, 2K, the regular, you know. Yeah, you're always, like, yelling at your friends you online. To, you need to yeah, stop like, that. he's yeah. always like, oh, my God, again. Yeah, you're very abusive towards them. I'm really not. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're like a you're father like, yelling me. at their kids. Okay, there's no proof of this, so I'm just going to decline we'll, all these We'll just phone a friend one day, and we'll call him up No, it's all right. We'll like, just record know? him when he's secretly or, not yeah, even that. knowing what's happening. Mm-hmm. You can try, but you won't succeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you won't succeed. Pick yourself up and try it, again. Just dust yourself. Okay, whatever. Shout out to Aaliyah. Try again. May she rest in peace, again. beautiful queen. Yeah. Janae, do you play video games? Yeah. Elaborate. I play Call of Duty for sure. Okay. I am. Janae, What's are you telling the truth right now? No, 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 no. Hold up. What's your favorite gun? <laughs> the. AKA 47. <laughs> Not the AKA, also known no, as. The also known as 47. Yeah. That's, the, your, that's your favorite gun? Yes. To use in Call of Duty? And the rifle. And I like the grenade thing. What? Like the one what? that's like the bazooka. The bazooka. Right? That's, that's the thing. The <laughs> push. That's a shotgun. <laughs> No, no, no. There's you, one that's like the with the, the little did. like cannonball, right? It's like a little that's like... That's a pump shotgun that you oh, just Oh, that had. one. Yes, I like that one. Wow. You like the pump shotgun? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So like, what do you... What map you like playing on best? Ooh, the one that we play together all the time. That you like. That I like? Mm-hmm. Remember earlier when I said about accountability and just doesn't want to admit when they're wrong? They just continue with the stories and stories <laughs> just to try to validate their point. But she said, I like the AKA 47. <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, at least you know that, like, I'm not into, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, I'm not, like, over here about to just, like, boom, 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 you. <laughs> Okay. All yeah, right. I don't know, man. This really might be her last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Shorty said, "Boom, boom, boom!" You. <laughs> oh. But no, I really do like games, not like video games, but like I'm really good at pool. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Dustin sucks. Like he really literally hates it you so need, much. You need to relax. Like I beat Dustin every time. I really think she paid the devs of this one pool game. <laughs> like play me an iMessage pool. I would guarantee you're gonna. No, lose. no, this you've been one, losing in that too. This is one pool game, like. Bro, I can be on fire like like your beef patty, right? <laughs> and um, I feel attacked. Like I would hit in like every ball have like the eight ball left. It'll stop at the last pocket. I'm like, bro, like why? And she'll come back and win every time. Or every time I hit in the eight ball, it scratches. Like no, she's playing. The, she's paying the devs to win. Wow. No, I'm just really really good. I'm skilled at what I do, and um, I'm great at it. Maybe you should Any take more note. synonyms, or you're nope. done. Um, I am very multifaceted. Uh Um, I am very inquisitive. Wow. I am very mysterious, actually. Not really. What? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You don't know me. Ooh. Okay. (laughs) Serial killer on the list. Ooh, Uh, not the serial killer. Not Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer, baby mama. (laughs) Oh, not him. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Another question that the folks have asked us, guys, is mm-hmm. um, what is our favorite state? State or steak? No, not food. State, like United States? Oh. <laughs> always thinking about food. <laughs> always thinking about food. And, she can't even and I steak. know Den is not talking because he is right with me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, I missed it. I know. It's all right. <laughs> you always <laughs> miss it. Your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were... Um, so what's what's your favorite state? Mine is uh, Miami. I love Miami. That's love definitely Miami. Not, a That's not a state. See there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> well, Miami should be its own state, Ew. okay? It's lit. As favorite? this guy is not really good with geography. <laughs> Listen, I love Miami. I can't say I love Just, the whole state of Florida. But it's not Florida. a state. Listen, what's your favorite state about city? Is he, and he was so confident. I was so ready. Me. I love the state of Miami. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. I love Miami, and I literally... Bro, what's your favorite state? Listen, we should put petition that it should be its own state. It's, that's how lit it is, okay? Miami, if you guys are listening, let's rally up. Let's make it your own state. I'll be here to head... I could be the mayor, okay? I'm all about fun oh, vibes. Oh, no, you don't want to be a mayor up. anymore. Remember why? Why? Because you're not going to be able to make money off of, like, certain things you said. So you I said, never said that to you. You did. I you never said, said that oh, to well, you. if I can't make money off of that, then I'm not going to. I never said that to he you. He literally said that. No. What is yeah. your favorite state? I want to be a mayor. So I would love to be the mayor of, like, First of all, you're Florida. too indecisive to be a mayor. <sighs> She's definitely not on my team at all. Like, <laughs> she is not being on my campaign. <laughs> Fired. Get her out. Bring the next one in. Oh um, no! Nah, but what are you? What are you guys' favorite state? No, but you still didn't answer the question. <laughs> I said Florida. Florida, okay. it is Miami. I'm sticking to. It. I'm sticking to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna say New York is my favorite. Man, it doesn't get any better than New York. It's very expensive, but I can't see myself like in another state other than New York. Okay. Yeah, I would say New York as well, because there's just like so many different things you can do. Like you have like Long Island and. That's that. And then you have the city where there's just so many different things that you can do. And then you have like upstate where you can like do like nothing, outdoorsy things. Nothing. No, like nature type nothing. of nothing. things, you know. There is nothing there, but you're right. It's you nothing there, but it's things. very outdoorsy. So like if you wanted to do outdoorsy things, you could. True. Which we don't really like that all the time. But, you know, we're not opposed to doing it. True. Yeah. And I guess New York kind of does give you like all four seasons, right? And you get all yeah, exactly. like different vibes. You know what I'm saying? So I could see that. I would love to change my answer, but I'm sticking with Miami because I go to Miami like it's like my backyard. I love Miami. Yeah. 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 I love Miami. Yeah. I'm moving on to the next question. Yeah, you should. <laughs> well, for, forget the next question. I just want to say, um, you know, now that we have this this studio, it's really dope. It's like our own little clubhouse. But um, we do have like a studio manager, and his name is Gio, and we'd like to introduce him to you guys. Gio, welcome. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Gio, what's up, man? Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've been cracking up behind the camera. I don't know if y'all have seen him, but y'all are hilarious. You're entertaining so far? <laughs> yes, y'all are. So you would like to tune in? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's dope. I love that. That's dope. Gio, tell us a little about yourself. Like, where are you from? I'm uh, from Brooklyn, New York, so shout out to the, you know, y'all love in the state yes. of New York, Florida. I don't get it, but yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> oh, Miami, I say. <laughs> Gio, have you, have you ever crashed any cars? Can I, you drive? I can drive. Well, well or you just Pretty well. Lessons? I could drive, like, trucks, sit, you know, different okay. cars, you know. Okay. Um, Never crashed. That's good. Ooh. Thank God. Yes, you know, thank God. Uh, yes. Knock on wood. Uh, yes. not wood, but because they are angry. May God protect you. May God <laughs> protect me. <laughs> Can you cook? I could. I could do some breakfast. Um, okay, like what? Like scrambled eggs or like an omelet? Scrambled eggs. Uh, I could do an omelet. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pancakes. Not French toast. I can't do French toast, but I need to warm up to that. I love okay. some waffles and Belgian waffles. I need mm, waffles. Belgian waffles. Nice. I oh, hop, really? Me and I hop. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you like, like what IHOP? kind of toppings? I love IHOP. Um, <laughs> toppings for the Belgian waffles? Yeah. They, they just put butter on it. I do some calm butter. Okay. Or some syrup. You know, syrup. Mm, okay. Like in the no, South. Like no flavor syrup or like. Yeah, I was going to say in the South, they usually have like different flavored syrup. So, mm-hmm. you know, um, I would say some blueberry. Blueberry syrup. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This guy loves yeah, blueberry, love blueberry syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Especially from IHOP. Yeah. That's, that's, that's Everywhere I can't go anywhere else and not have like blueberry syrup. Like, like he's a fiend for blueberry syrup. It's it's just hit. It just hit different. Yeah, it hit <laughs> different. She doesn't understand. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I understand. mean it, it's it's like okay, but you know it's not like she likes know. maple. Yeah, and I also like strawberry too. Like Mainly strawberry maple. Strawberry, but I love like a nice like berry <laughs> compote. You know, that's maple maple hits maple hits. Yeah. Do you I know what it. a compote is? I don't know what. Uh, well, a compo is like a, a, it's like, you know, like some fruits and, you know, it's like a syrupy kind of like mushed up, like, it's like jam. It like, like. It's like almost like that. Yeah. It's like almost like that, but not really like that. Hmm. It's like a yes and a no. Hmm. 
Right. After hearing that explanation, do you have a better understanding of what a compost I is? I need a visual. I'm thinking a compost. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ew. <laughs> yeah, saying it, but no. But like I said, it's trying to like jam, so maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a jam almost. So, Gio, if we made like a like a dating show, would you? He's you he's still trying. I appreciate hey, you. Hey, 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 man, hey, hey. I appreciate you. You always trying to get me with the lead. Look, man, I'm just saying. If we made a dating show, would you want to participate as the Bachelor? Oh, the whole Bachelor. Yeah, man, we yeah. can get you like three, four, five girls. That's a calm warm up Bachelor show. Yeah, yeah. Right? I it's think like it'd be episode. fun. Yeah, I can rock with that. Like a little speed dating. Get my little shape up thing yeah, going man. on it. Like, whatever you need to be done can be done. I appreciate that. So, would, See, so would you out. be with it? Yeah, I'm definitely with it. All right, cool. Ooh, All right, so, so ladies, let's see. Yeah. Like, what are you looking for in a man? Yeah. I'm five six, so just let y'all know. Nah. Ooh, Why are you five, getting that out the way now? You know, I just got to get out the way. So <laughs> <laughs> he said, look, I ain't trying to catfish nobody. I'm 5'6". I'm you still know. a king. He's like, do not call Neve on me. Uh, no <laughs> be mad, you know? I, I like him tall, too, but I'm just You'll saying. Continue so I'm continue you know. your personal device. Yo, what are you oh, doing? Oh, like, Watch? really? <laughs> like, you Siri, do? you're trying to make this about you? <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> Siri is trying to get with Listen, you. you got one. Listen, we're going into the metaverse, so a digital girl could be the new sign of like, a new Oh, age. yes, metaverse. Mm. Siri, Siri's voice is just, I don't know, kind of too bland for me. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. But you know, you could switch it up. They could have accents. They could speak in different languages. Whatever you like. Yeah. All right. That's AI. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's custom. Yeah. I guess that. that. I guess that. Yeah. All right. So we got something to look forward to. You know, we'll 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 check back in next time and um, yeah. we'll see if we have any any good uh, news on progress for you when it comes to the, the being dating. A bachelor. Yeah. I appreciate. Well, that. Well, thank you, Gio, for joining us. Yo, thank y'all. We appreciate you. My guy. Yes. You know, we just met Gio a few weeks ago, and um, when we got like this space and. He came to show it to us, and we were like, Gio, we hope that you're going to stay here with us, man, because yeah. like, he's so dope. You know, He's like his own character and very unique in his own way, and we just love it. So, <clears throat> well, welcome to the, to, the, to the team, brother. Right. And he also loves food, ladies. Like, he'll give you recommendations for food. So, you know, I know a lot of the times we can tend to be a little indecisive about food, so he'll definitely, you know, give you some options. Yeah. Yeah, we love options. Yeah. Um, and I would just go into, like, another question, too, is, like, someone asked, is, like, what's your, like, what's your type of woman? Like, what's your ideal woman or something like I mean, that? I think we should ask you that. Yeah, that's what yeah. they asked me, actually. I'm asked. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm asking you, what's your type of woman? So, someone that's independent, mm. mm-hmm. she can look like any flavor, you know what I'm saying? Any flavor from the, um, from the, from the, from the rainbow. Mm-hmm. She could be yellow, black, white, purple. Oh man, talk about purple. You know, they definitely have a, a documentary about Barney nowadays, like the dark side of Barney, but mm, yes. it's like a joke to me. But, uh, See. anyway, um, yeah, she can like be from wherever, but I definitely think someone who has like depth to them, someone that's like selfish, but also selfless at the same time, knowing how to protect their peace. Um, but yeah, just someone that's caring and has a good sense of humor and not judgmental because I'm an open-minded person. I like to have a lot of fun and life is short, so she can't be stressful because I'll kick it to the curb. I'm like, I can't deal with someone that's too stressful. You know what I mean? And you know, he got roll rage. Mm-hmm. Right. And he hates curbs. Mm-hmm. And he's indecisive, so. Mm. Yeah, so I just, I would love someone who is decisive. Who is decisive? Actually. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, someone that's also ultimately just like a nice person. So yeah, yeah. Ladies, whoever's watching, and slide in my DMs. All right, I'm always down to go on a date. I think I would actually want to do that too. Like, try these, um, go on these dating apps and like try like these uh, going on first dates with them and seeing how that is. So oh, yeah, that'd be if fun. we made a dating show. Would you mind being The Bachelor? No, I do not mind. That would be so exciting. It would be wow. so lit. Wow, we may have a dating show on our hands. Right. Yeah. We already got season one and season two. Exactly. Season, I thought we were talking about episodes. What okay. are we talking about here? All right, all right, okay, all right. Okay. We'll slow it down. Right, all right. I'm we'll still you- triggered from the first dating show. <laughs> all right, don't yeah. just throw seasons at me. I went through a full season. I don't need another full season. <laughs> let's, take, let's take it slow, buddy. All right? <laughs> I, I, honestly, you know, I'm not even gonna get into the the reality TV, but just, let's just say that there are dating shows out there that are very toxic, and I can see it. And I'm just like, yo, they should offer therapy after this. But that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I know we're eventually gonna talk about it. But yeah, yeah, reality TV sometimes can be 
a good and a bad thing. But it makes good TV overall. But right. it could be good or bad, depending on your experience, I'll say. Yeah. To each his own. So, yeah. All right, guys. I guess that's it for our first episode. This was, like, really yeah. fun. You know? This was definitely fun. This was really dope. Really dope. Um, definitely want to do this again. Yeah. And honestly, I just want to give a big props to us because, like, you know, we've been talking about this for a little minute. And the fact that it's now a reality and we're here sitting with these mics and we got Gio. I mean, this is, like, better than we ever freaking imagined, No, guys. seriously. <laughs> like, Gio was, like... The icing on the cake. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Let's just say it was a very bland cake because Janae made it. But, um. (laughs) (laughs) Black don't crack. (laughs) This has nothing to do with race. (laughs) Well, they said I look 19, so. (laughs) This has nothing to do with age. I said black don't crack. And on that note, we're, we're, we're done. All right. Look. (laughs) <laughs> make sure y'all like comment and subscribe yeah give us some topics you want us to talk about on this yeah. podcast yeah follow us on the gram and on like tiktok subscribe yeah. to our youtube channel dustin and denzel um and our, tiktok the janae ashley yeah um the mooney bros at tiktok um and on instagram and um yeah stay tuned it's definitely gonna be a journey i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this and yeah. We just can't wait to do more and share more with you guys. So before we dip out, do you have any motivational, motivational quotes for the people? I'm just going to say, remember to be you. Be true to who you are. And you can never go wrong. Same thing as I told her today. Yes. Wise words from a wise man. Yeah. We love to see it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Until next time. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.